Hi, welcome back to the Bootstrapper's Guide. I'm Tori Norman, and today we're actually going to be answering a question of my own. So just recently I was working in Wave Accounting, and I wanted to add a new account to my chart of accounts. When I tried to do that, however, I got this error. Now I figured it was probably just a server glitch, and I'd let it be and come back later. But after two days of trying to add this account, and still being unsuccessful, I reached out to Wave's awesome tech support for help. Together we were able to resolve the issue, so now I want to share with you what we learned, so that you'll understand what this error is, what causes it, and how to prevent it in the future. So here we are in Wave Accounting, and as you can see, this error seems to allude to the fact that there's an issue with the server, maybe an update or a glitch or something, and it wants me to try again later. But I can promise you it doesn't matter how many times you try it, it's never going to work, because the error is actually what I call a red herring error. It's leading you astray to something that is not actually related to the issue itself. The issue is related to how you delete and recreate accounts in your chart of accounts. You see, I recommend with Wave Accounting and any accounting software you use, that one of the first things you do when you're setting up your new account with them, is go in and delete any unused accounts from your chart of accounts. You see, a lot of these software will create for you a generic chart of accounts, and there's a lot of items in there that you're probably never going to use, and it can make it cluttered and confusing to keep those on your chart of accounts if you're never going to use them. However, sometimes it, you'll have accounts where at the beginning you don't intend to use them, but as your business grows, now you want to start using those accounts and you go in and add them back. That was what I was trying to do when I was getting this error. So let me show you how this works. Let's go in and add an account. And I'm going to add an expense account that I previously deleted, which is this computer hosting account. And you can see um, with this particular account, there's a, it actually appears in two places. It appears in the recommended section, and it appears in the, the previously deleted section. So in each of these categories, Wave provides for you several recommended accounts that are pre-built for you to use in your chart of accounts based on the type of business that you are. It's usually recommended, hence the name, that you click something from that category. However, in this case, if I click the recommended computer hosting and try and save it, I will get that error message every time because the software is trying to create an account that already exists. Even though I've gone in and deleted it, Wave doesn't actually delete it from my account. It hides it in case I want to bring it back at a later date. So if you ever have an account where you have previously deleted it, you need to make sure that when you go back to add it back, you look for it in this previously deleted section. So I can click on this previously deleted account and save it. And now you can see that it saves successfully. And I can come into the expense section of my chart of accounts and you can see my computer hosting is now in my chart of accounts. So essentially, if you get an error when you're trying to create a new account, ignore the fact that it says it's a server error. What it's really trying to tell you is this account has already been created and previously deleted. Look for the previously deleted section in the account creation screen and find that account there and use that one instead of the recommended account name. If you do that, you will never get this error when creating accounts in your chart of accounts. So now if you ever come across this error, you'll know that it's not so much related to issues with the server as it is how you manage your chart of accounts. I would still recommend that you delete unused accounts, but just know if you ever need to add them back, be sure to look in the deleted accounts section first before trying to add it if you're getting this error message. Thank you again for watching Wave Accounting. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you'll catch all of our updates on Wave and other awesome accounting technology. You can also visit our website at www.acctlab.com to learn more about what you can do to manage your accounting and your small business better.